Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers the basic use and features of a Google Meet video conference. In other videos in this series, we have covered how to start a Meet, invite people to a Meet, and how to join a Meet. And you can see those videos for all of those directions. For this video, we will assume you are already in the video meeting and will review the main features. First, the main part of the screen will show you the other participants in the meeting. Note, you will not see yourself by default, but instead will see the other attendees. Now you can change the screen layout, but it will only affect how you see the screen. Each attendee controls their own view. The way you do this is you go down to the three dots button in the bottom right hand corner and choose change layout. You can switch between sidebar, spotlight, and tiled. Or you can just leave it on auto and let Google Meet choose the layout for you. At any point, you can also pin an attendee to make them fill the screen and then unpin them again. You can even pin yourself by going up into the top right hand corner and then unpin yourself as well. Next, you can manage the attendees in the meeting by clicking on the people icon up in the top right. For each attendee, you can click on the little down arrow and you can pin them, mute them, or even remove them from the meeting. Now do note, in schools, only the creator of the meeting can mute and remove others so that a student would not be able to mute or remove the teacher. In this same panel, you will find the Add People link, which will allow you to send an email invitation to invite other people to join your meeting. In the same right corner, you'll find the icon to open the chat window. Here, participants can text chat with the group during the meeting, including sending helpful links. Chatting can be a good way to share information or to ask to speak without interrupting the current speaker. Next, in the bottom right hand corner, you will find the three dots menu where you'll find additional options. For example, here you'll see the settings option where you can select and control your microphone, your speakers, and your web camera. The three dots menu also has an option to use your phone for audio during the meeting. This can be useful in a classroom setting where the phone can be passed around like a microphone so that each student can speak and be heard. Next to the three dots button is the present now button, which allows you to show your screen or just an individual window to your participants. This can be a powerful way to give a slideshow presentation, review a document, explore a website, work out a math problem using a whiteboard website or more. Simply click the button and then choose if you want to share your entire desktop or just one particular window. Now we'll choose what we want to share. Now everyone in the meeting will be able to see what you're presenting, such as a slideshow in this example. Now when you're done, you can simply click on the present button again and choose stop presenting. Note, any attendee in the meeting can share their screen, not just the meeting creator. Next along the bottom of the screen is the button to turn closed captioning on or off. Now, anything that anyone says in the meeting will display on the screen for you to see. When done using captions, just click the turn off captions button to toggle it back off. On the far left hand side of the screen is the meeting details button, which lets you copy the link for the meeting so that you can give that to others so that they can join your meeting. Also, if you created this meeting through Google Calendar, this is where you will go to find any attachments that were added to the calendar event for this meeting. Finally, in the middle bottom, you will find buttons to 
turn your mic on or off, to turn your video off or back on, and also to leave the meeting. It is helpful to turn off your mic when you're not speaking to help reduce unnecessary noise in the meeting. If you're using Google Meet through the mobile app on an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet, you can have access to pretty much all the same features. They'll just be located in different spots. For example, across the top, we see the button to control our settings for our speakers and our headphones. We also see the button to turn closed captioning on or off. There's also a button here to access all of the participants in the meeting. And if you have the ability to pin, mute, or remove them from the meeting. Across the top, there's also the chat button to participate in the text chat in the group. Next to there, the information button will give you access to any attachments that were included in the meeting when it was scheduled through Google Calendar. Down along the bottom, you'll see the button to mute your microphone if you're not speaking. Also, to turn your camera off and back on as needed. And then finally, the button to hang up and leave the meeting when you're ready to go. So those are the basics for how a Google Meet video conference works and its main features. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos.